Well, the Houston Pride celebration has really changed a lot over the years. Back when it first started in the 1970s, you didn't see signs of support or rainbow flags flying. In fact, you may have seen harassment. This is also a place where we said goodbye to a lot of our dead. Um, there were ashes scattered out a lot. What's now a trendy coffee shop in Houston's upscale Lower Westheimer area was once the center of Houston's gay rights movement. And if you're planning on heading out to this weekend's Pride celebration, you can thank these men and women for leading the way. That roof was premier seating. Oh, I bet. You had arrived if you were if you were invited to sit on that roof. Let me guess, did you sit on the roof? Once. <laughs> Skip Willette and Judy Reeves were both regulars at Mary's Naturally back in the 80s. And for the first time since the bar closed in 2009, you can see the iconic bar tables yourself. They're on display at the Contemporary Arts Museum in the Museum District. It was concrete floor, concrete bathroom floors, it smelled like a bar, and but it was so much fun. But Mary's was also a place of controversy. Back then, police raids at gay bars were common. And the first pride celebrations in our city started as protests against harassment. They would kind of walk into the door and they detain everybody and ID everybody. And back then, most people weren't out like they are today. And so they even listed the names of people that they found in the bar in the newspaper.